All right, what's going on everybody? Today, I've got another car video coming at you. I've got the BRZ here behind me, and we're doing something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time, and uh, it's gonna make the car look a lot better, and I bet you can already guess what it is because you probably saw the title of the video and all this other stuff. So, let's just hop right into it. I got coilovers for the BRZ. I didn't just get coilovers for the BRZ. We also got spacers and new wheels. Now, when I say new wheels, let's let's get into that a little bit. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I absolutely cannot afford wheels for the car right now. But what I can do is replace the ones that I curbed like an idiot. Back in December, me and Kana were in Orlando, and I guess I just wasn't paying attention to approaching a curb, and I ended up rashing this wheel pretty bad. And I'm not really stoked on how that looks because when I bought the car, this wheel had the rash on it. Now. You're probably saying to yourself, Ryan, why the hell did you buy the car with this wheel rash and not have anybody address it? If you saw when I actually got the car back on Joey's channel, we got the car from Connecticut and I did not get to see the car in person. They did not have very detailed pictures and unfortunately I just jumped on the car and, and had, to, had to have it. That's my own fault, but here we are. Luckily, my friend Merrick had a couple of wheels that he had that were in perfect condition that match mine. Now, you might be saying to yourself, match yours, what does that mean? Well, for the Series Gray and Series Yellow BRZ, they had a slightly different color for the premium wheels. I'd imagine somebody actually painting them or powder coating them probably would be a little bit tough to match. So I thought this was the best option. So I went ahead and I bought all four wheels. Now I will have a perfect set of four and I will have an, an extra set of four that I can get powder coated or do whatever I want with them. On top of that, not only did Merrick sell me some wheels for a good deal, he also happened to have these teen coilovers that he gave me a good deal on. Now, teen definitely isn't the best option for coilovers for these cars, but it's probably the most common. It's a tried and true setup. I know coilovers alone aren't the only thing I need to do to the car to get my alignment and everything correct. So, we've got ourselves some SPC lower control arms, rear toe arms, and front camber bolts. We're gonna be installing all of this today. Now, I'm not gonna give you a step-by-step -step install video because there's a million of those on YouTube. I don't need to do it. This is gonna be more of a chill vibe video, kind of catching up on what's going on. Like, I, I really haven't made a video in probably five, six months now at this point. Uh, I got a little overwhelmed with concert footage and I just kind of ran out of stuff to, to film. Um, we're gonna get some motivation this year and we're coming right back at it. <sighs> the BRZ is expensive and the stuff that I want to do personally is expensive because I'm not trying to cheap out on it and I don't want to do eBay bullshit. We're gonna have to take our time with that and I hope everybody understands. Other than that, let's go ahead and hop into it. As I, as I had mentioned, um, I did buy these coilovers used. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Merrick told me that he broke loose the preload on them, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset the preload and Go ahead and get the car jacked up and start figuring things out from there All right, so spanner wrenches are probably like the worst tool to ever exist. So that's kind of cool But uh, I got the preload loosened up So everything is basically at the point where the spring is just kind of unloaded like you can move it just slightly um, Everything I've read online for the teen coilovers said that the preload should be just where you tighten up the collar to where it's tight and then add like a millimeter or two millimeters of preload and from what i've understood and everybody explains that the threads are about a millimeter a millimeter and a half so it's only just a little bit there's not a whole lot you need to tighten down on the preload here apparently so that's what we're going to do that's what my research has said that's what i've had some other people tell me so we're gonna go ahead and set that up and hopefully it's the right the right preload. Alright, well first things first, now that we're clearly starting on the front here, I'm gonna go ahead and get these connectors off of the uh, stock strut, get these bolts disconnected up here, get these disconnected up here, and we should be good to go. Alright, so sometimes you have to admit when you did not do your own research and you do not know what you're doing. So I found out very quickly that those 19 millimeter bolts on the bottom of the struts for the front are extremely tight. Like I had a pretty big breaker bar on there and I ended up breaking one of my adapters just trying to get it loose. 
Uh, granted, the adapter is the weak point of that, so, you know, I get that. I think in reality, I need an impact to get it done. And luckily, I have friends that are willing to help me out, so we're gonna jump on over to that and get this done. I just found out he's going to Florida, and I'm uh, with his uh, girlfriend and uh, her family. I'm, I'm gonna hold that shit against him. All right, so things are happening really quickly here. The car's already jacked up. We're, we already got the bolts off because I, I suck and impacts are awesome. Um, okay, that, I was a little concerned about that one because the car came from Connecticut, rusty bolts, love that. Uh, but it popped right off. I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk it up to the WD-40 I put on there. Good idea. I actually might still need to wrench it off with the, it could get got stuck. Well, you know what, it, uh, it at least like broke loose. I think. I don't That's think I don't think you broke it, so it did not break. No, 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 we're good. All right, something's a little bit different here. As you can see, I'm missing an entire strut from my car here because impacts are cool. Ryan sucks. Here we are. Coilovers going in the car. Um, hopefully, I have everything set correctly here. Not 100% sure about the preload. If it rides like shit, it rides like shit. I guess. Run it. Fuck it. Edit in post. All right, right fronts in, left front. About to be done. Uh, sway bar end links are on. Uh, camber bolts are really stupid because they they're really hard to tighten for some reason. Don't know why SPC had that had that going on there. Uh, fuck them for that. We're gonna hit the rear, and then everything's gonna be like set, and then boom, we're heading out to the car meet. Hot boy car. Hot boy car, looking hot. Camera, camera, camera. All right. Let's slam this thing on his nuts. <laughs> so there's a jack. Okay. What does it look like? It is gonna settle some. I usually jump on the door sill. I also uh, just kinda like pushed in my fender a little bit, ignored that, you know, no big deal. Good. No, I didn't actually like push it, push it in, just like I heard it. it. Is, <laughs> like I said, it is gonna settle some. I've like lost like a fingers with when you go drive it. Um, Dude, that's honestly like, I think that's almost like perfect. For now, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably drive it and see what you feel about it. Unless you think you wanna go a little lower than it, like I said. I mean, we probably should have measured it before, but like, I actually do kind of feel like that is pretty close to an inch. I mean, just look at your back, <laughs> like it's. I know, that's kind of, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like it closed it up pretty much like where I want it. Yeah. I mean, I think... I did my alignment a couple weeks, like a week or two ago, and I was like, oh, this is really high, and then I drove it, and like, again, I lost like a fingers. I... Either way, Play we should do the here. rears now. Yes, absolutely. And we gotta do the rears now, because we gotta get going soon. If we have time, though, we'll, we'll, we can mess with it. Yeah, let's get, let's get moving. All right, things are moving really fast here. We got the rear, the passenger side in here, and then we're working on the driver's side right now, and... Gonna pop that bad boy on out, and should be good to go. Hopefully the height is not too high or too low, but we gotta get these back strut bolts out. We're pretty we're moving things along. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Right, right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, keep going. A little more. Too much? Uh, no, it might be perfect. I think. Yeah, just a little slippy slip. Mm. Slippy slip. Perfect. You like a of the the jack? Oh, can move it. Whoa! All right, tension's off. All right, so we're gonna uh, drop down the rear. We are good here. Let's see how actually slammed this is not. The rear's like the biggest difference, so. Ooh. That's pretty good. I think it'll be good. I think once you drive it. I think it's gonna settle down to like, be like a perfect level, honestly. 
dam. And like I said, I'd, I'd rather you see it settle and measure how much you want to lower it after that than go too much right now and end up like... Having to raise it? You're like, oh, this sucks driving to the Tampa. Yeah, seriously. I mean, it's gonna be a good test for it at least. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, we're driving in the car for the first time on the suspension, and so far, I gotta say, I actually think it, it feels pretty, like, good. Like, I don't feel like I'm, you know, super stiff. Uh, I think we got the dampening at a very good uh, setting. We actually went halfway up the uh, the clicks, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, we're about to hit the interstate, so that's gonna be a, a good test for, uh, you know, making sure everything like feels good and all that. Uh, Cause um, yeah, this, this suspension could be kind of old. We don't really know 100% because uh, he did pull it off another car. So yeah, but huge shout out to Merrick. We're heading over to uh, Burger Culture right now. I'm gonna meet up with the, the 86 group. If anybody knows Florida, if you know this bridge is bumpy as hell, and I can say right now, we're kind of riding pretty smooth. Like, I am i don't feel like I'm on stiff-ass coilovers. I feel like I'm kind of just riding on my normal suspension. Granted, the car is not slammed or anything like that, but uh, we're pretty pretty—we're pretty chill right now. And I love that. <laughs> All right, we're out here. Burger culture, all the cars. The 86 community is really showing out here. Got some really cool stuff here. Ooh, this guy's on the, the 22 wheels. I like that. That's a good look. He needs to get some spacers. Hell yeah. A lot of familiar faces out here. Loving it. This thing's really cool. Like over 20 cars here. Merrick made it. Everybody's here. It's awesome. Hell yeah. Tampa 86 community. You guys have not seen this video yet, but we are in Merrick's caged car up here with the Turbo FRS. He did that. I did this. You haven't seen it yet. But you will, I promise, because I'm working on videos. Because I'm a stupid idiot and I just need to work on them. Ooh, you got fancy gauges over there on your phone. I try, yeah, so I can keep track. Sure. <laughs> All right, so I haven't been in this car since it had a built block. Uh, I actually got to drive this car like probably like a year and a half ago now, something like that. Yeah. And it was a blast. It was like probably making like 270. Two, yeah, two, 270. Now it's making probably 330, 340. And uh, yeah. Let's rip it and let's see how it is. <laughs> oh, dude, that shifter sounds good. So direct. Perfect fucking time. Fucking E85 smells good, man. Yeah, it feels a little bit laggy still in like the mid range, but I don't know, dude. <laughs> it felt fucking solid to me.
tell I'm impressed because I, I'm a little baby and I have a 2.0 without a turbo. <laughs> Well, thank you, sir, yes, for the sir. ride. Thanks for, I the, know, uh, thanks for the reactions. I know what this feels like now. Nah, dude, we're gonna, you're gonna take me drifting, and then you're really gonna get the reaction. You gotta come out for that, dude. All right, I never got a chance to actually talk about what the hell's going on here, so let me explain to you guys. I hosted a, a local meet for the Tampa 86 group, just strictly for the 86 chassis and the locals. Now, this definitely isn't my first time hosting an event. This is about the third time now that I've tried hosting a car meet, and it went really well. We got over 20 people to show up to the event, and I think that's a great turnout for a, an event basically just about building community. Now, I have a lot of fun hosting events. This was a major success in my book, and I really enjoy doing these things, and I'm just gonna keep continuing to do them, trying to improve the events, make them more fun, and just get more people involved. It's, it's a lot of fun having the, everybody out there and seeing you know familiar faces, new faces, and it's just a great time. Uh, there's a lot of times that I'm driving around in Tampa and I see, honestly, I see a lot of the same cars just like driving around locally and everything, and I always think to myself, why don't I know this person? You drive a BRZ, FRS 86, you know, we, we haven't crossed paths in this entire time. How is that possible? Other times I just see people with, you know, 240s and other things that I'm passionate about. Granted, I don't have the same car, so sometimes that makes it a little bit different. We're all car enthusiasts and we can all agree on that and it's always a good time. Now, it's been a little bit of time since the meet has passed and we've had a little bit of time for the coilovers to settle and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and hop over to that and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna adjust the height, get my final height set on the coilovers and we'll talk about that for a second. All right, everybody already probably knew this, but get in alignment when you get your coilovers on or else you're gonna end up like me and have a nice and corded tire. I thought I had a little more life on that, on that and I didn't think the uh, alignment was gonna be that out of whack. I guess I was wrong. Um, didn't really feel that weird when I was driving, but either way, we got this tire off on this side and we're gonna go ahead and adjust the height. Uh, I just measured uh, this collar in between this collar and we're an inch right now. All I'm trying to do is lower it just a quarter of an inch. So we're going to go ahead and break the collar loose and then you're going to spin this collar here and compress it and I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and break this lower collar loose. Unlock the car in the process. You know, normal things. Here we go. So we got this collar broke loose here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up just enough to where I am happy with, with it. Excuse me, important phone call. So as I was saying, we are going to go ahead and turn this collar here and hopefully, as you will see, so you should be able to see that the whole shock body is moving downwards and threading into the collar. Thus, making the coilover shorter and lowering your ride height. I don't know who I think I, who I think I am giving instructional tips like this. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, that side should be all set. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side and get that dialed in. All right, the big reveal part two. Let's see if this is a better ride height for this. All right, at the current moment, it's not exactly where I was hoping to have it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna settle down to be, end up being a little bit lower, because honestly, it was a little bit harder for me to get the jack out from underneath it, and I'm pretty confident that this is how I need it, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is. All right, now that we've got the car to a happy height, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, get some glamour shots of it. Hopefully we can get the suspension to settle down a little bit, and we'll see what this actually looks like for height-wise. Here we are with the BRZ on the side of a busy street. She is looking good. Look at that car back behind me right there. Honestly, the car doesn't look like anything was done to it, considering the fact that it was so high in the rear that it basically just kind of looks like it was supposed to be this way from the factory. Uh, but if you know what the stock height on a BRZ FRS 86 is supposed to look like, you know that, that this is definitely modified. This is the fitment we're working with in the rear right now. Pretty good. Pretty happy with it. And this is the fitment we're working with in the front. I think this is gonna be the perfect height for the car being my daily at the moment. I don't think I'm gonna scrape too much and I don't think I'm gonna run into any issues. I haven't heard any clunking from the sway bar yet, so I don't think I need adjustable sway bar end links. I'll probably end up getting them eventually just because of the fact that 
I'm the kind of person that likes to have preventative maintenance for those kinds of items. Here's how the car sits. At the moment, I did not install the lower, lower control arms or the rear toe arms. I'm going to try and get those installed as soon as possible. I wanna make sure I can have this rear end uh, at the right alignment. But at the moment, I have to get new tires and I have to get an alignment for the car because I'm going to keep wrecking tires if I do not. And I did not realize that that's my own dumb asphalt. I'm really just happy to be able to replace these curved wheels. That's probably the most satisfying part of this whole process here. And for some reason, the fitment on the Primacies is really interesting compared to the the Pilot Super Sports. I don't know why it looks so stancy. It makes my it makes me like look like I'm actually like way more flush than I am. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout for the next local 86 meet by me. I'm gonna be trying to do that as a regular thing. I'm maybe even trying to do different kind of car meets with all kinds of cars involved. So keep your eye out for that and get excited. I'm happy that the BRZ is finally lowered and uh, we got more stuff coming for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for these glamour shots of the BRZ. We're gonna close out on that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey,